InsideThunder.com, powered by iHeartMedia, Oklahoma City. Uh, no, it's it was a strange year uh, for our expectations. Uh, we're you know we expect to be playing for a championship here. It's uh, the way it's gone the last few years. So the way it went was um, really couldn't be expected. And um, I don't know, it was just a crazy crazy season with injuries. And we don't like to make excuses like we always say, but there's no doubt that it affected our season. So. Um, and then this last night was very strange to be playing a game, watching you know another game and the other game affecting what what ultimately would happen for postseason. Um, but it's it's over now, and and uh, hopefully next year will go much smoother. I felt great all year, and then the ankle was is t the ankle injury is tough to get back from. I'm not wasn't 100 percent at the end um it just takes time and I, it's not something that'll affect me going into next year i don't think so um we got plenty of time to heal this year so uh i think it'll be good hey, what are your thoughts on playoff reform do you think that's something the league should address playoff reform uh i don't know the league's gonna do what they're gonna do i haven't given a lot of thought to it um there's a tradition in the league of having an Eastern and Western Conference and the way it's it's always gone and the playoffs are very popular. People like watching them and so there's there's probably an idea if it's not broke, don't fix it. But then again, some teams could, could say it is broke. So I don't really have an answer for you. Um, obviously, it'd be great to be in and, and be one of the teams that's in. Uh, but it's just until they change the rules, it's just the way it is. So I don't I don't give a lot of thought to it. I know it's hard at a moment like this when everyone's really disappointed, but focusing on the positive side of things, is there a moment, maybe two, that stand out in your mind as just incredible moments for this team this year? Well, we we had to play a lot of different ways. Uh, early in the year, we weren't winning a lot, um, but we were still competing. We were defending at a high level with a lot of guys that um, we didn't expect to be playing as big a role as they did. Uh, we're playing zone defense. I. I'd be playing with two bigs as a pseudo small forward. Like we had to just kind of throw a lot of things out there, which was kind of fun. It's hard to lose a lot of those games, of course, but um, I, I really liked how we competed. And um, uh, it's been fun to watch Russell this year. He's grown up a lot and uh, a lot of things you guys don't see, but we see in how he deals with the team and he's really matured a ton. And I think this was a big growth year for him and uh, new players I like that we got. Um, integrating them, we we struggle at times, but I think they're guys that are going to help us and and hopefully be able to s stick around and kind of build some new continuity. We had a lot of continuity for a long time here, and that changed this year. But I think they're guys that can be here in the future. Um, those are front office decisions, but I think it's it, I think that's probably what they targeted with those guys guys that can be here for a while. So uh, there there was some positive things, um, and and again you playing another NBA season so I feel very fortunate to to still be here and still be playing personally and um, anytime you can finish a year it's a, it in the NBA it's a it's a positive thing you just mentioned the defense from earlier in the season if you guys could be so effective with those guys how come you couldn't be as effective with more talented guys later in the season yeah well our, our habits have to get better um I think we we see a pattern when that surge covers up a lot for us, and when he wasn't in there, it gets exposed. So I think um, we really have to try to be a team that, uh, and we've been saying this for years, but we have to get better on the defensive end, and then we can't we can't rely on him to block or change shots at the rim all the time. So we need both. We need good rim protection, but we need better uh, defensive habits before our players get to the rim or whatever whatever the result of the possession is. We have to get better, I think. Um, and uh, you know, because it's a, it's a contrast when he's not in the game, and it's been that way now. And we saw in the playoffs for two games last year, and then when he was out this year. So uh, we can't we can't rely on that as much as we do. So I think we saw that, and uh, and then 
having a training camp with with new players we didn't really get much of a training camp this year a lot of days we couldn't practice we only had seven eight guys uh, we couldn't go live and practice and that's that that adds up when you don't have that base of teaching and fundamentals and that month month long of drilling and 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 doing a lot of that stuff and even the preseason games um you know if you don't have that good strong base it, it, it can show and i think it, it showed this year it's just a really unique weird year and and uh Hopefully next year we it'll be nothing like it. We'll have you know our guys and we can really build something. When you're really good offensively, can, can guys get lulled to thinking that you can outscore people because you're really mm-hmm. talented offensively? You don't put the same effort. Well, I think um, it, it can be that way, but I'd like to think that we've we've been through enough here and seen enough here that you you ultimately know that. Uh, the most important thing is how you're going to play at the highest level and the most important games at the end of the year. So um, keeping that in perspective and, and how are we playing on both ends, I think I think we understand the importance of that and um, we have to be better at it for sure. Where can you get better defensively and how do you in an offseason get better? Uh, well, I think he um, he's a young guy that uh, still hasn't, doesn't have a ton of experience so uh, a big part of, of defending especially as a big is recognition of, of different things that happen on the court and being able to communicate what's going on to another player to get into your coverage or whatever it is uh, I think a training camp with us and and, and doing uh, the things we're trying to do uh, will help and um, just just it, making it a priority, I guess, uh, for him. For him, he'll have to make it a priority, and then uh, the teaching, and again, having a training camp, and just the repetition over and over again, uh, it, it can make a big difference for a young player like that. Uh, I wasn't near as good as I am now, and, and a lot of that, like I said, the recognition, and a lot of times as a young player, your head is spinning, and you're just trying to uh, figure out what's happening, and you can by the time you realize what's happening, you can't – like so much of the league is pick and roll coverage. Uh, there's a lot of times where you see the play and you just can't get it out of your mouth. So you don't communicate to the guard and we don't do what we're trying – if we're trying to keep the ball on the side, the ball gets to the middle and it breaks the whole play down. Like there's a lot of stuff like that that comes with experience. So uh, just the more repetition. Steven's much better than he was at the beginning of last year. I just – it takes time and, and, um, and we got guys that are – that want to do it, and I think they'll get better at it. And um, but it does; it takes time. And you need experience to be able to recognize a lot of the stuff you see in the NBA. Uh, both Scott and Russ both talked about him being a better leader. You mentioned it as well. Give us some idea of what you're talking about and dealing with the team, and just mm-hmm. the things he did, especially with Kevin being out and all the uh, There's a lot of things, a lot of uh, small things day to day, but. Um, you know, you didn't see the the no runbacks when he's upset about a call. Uh, he he was communicating with his teammates better. Just an overall in, in practice, trying to keep everybody focused. If he felt like uh, the focus started to lack, uh, he just has an overall uh, maturity. Or there, there's more maturity with him, and and um, he's he's trying to every day affect the team and, and worrying about what can I do to get the team to play better. Uh, whereas a young player, uh, a lot of young players, um, himself included, you get caught up in yourself sometimes because you're trying to establish yourself in the league and uh, you're trying to find out who you can be as a young player. So he's he's made that shift now where it's all about how can I make the team play better. And, and uh, a lot of people don't see that because a lot of times the decision he makes to help the team play better is to go try to score because he's really good at that. So he's taking a lot of shots, but it's what we need and what – he correctly, uh, he, the, the correct decision he's making that, yeah, this is what we need right now So because he's really good at it. So uh, it's been fun to see it, and uh, it's going to be great for us in the future. Do you have any individual goals for yourself this offseason? You always seem to have something that you want to work on or, or find you. Uh, the big big thing for me is to stay in shape and, and try to get my body where I can come into camp and feel healthy and, and – uh, and as athletic as I can be and and be able to come right in and and be going from the start so uh, doing the stuff I do in the weight room and it'll be different summer this year being so long I have to figure out a plan it's going to be a 
you know, before we play almost, you know, till June. And then you kind of have a shorter time to fill with your training. And, and I had that, um, I had that figured out. So it'll be a little different this year. We'll have to get a plan, but I have a pretty good idea what I need to do in the off season. And I didn't shoot the ball well this year. So I, you know, I've always worked on my shot, but that'll be an emphasis is try to get back more consistent with that. And, 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 I don't know. A lot of the stuff I always do, I guess. Well, I hope, I think the uh, effect that this year can have on us is that we do need to get better. I mean, right now we're just like all these other teams. We're not playing anymore. So um, things had gone really incredibly well for us for a long, a long time. And, um, I, I guess hopefully we won't take winning for granted. And um, I think we'll come into camp hopefully realizing that we have to get better and we have a lot of work to do to get better to, to try to win a championship. I think that if, I think the whole team will feel that effect. Even that such a disappointing finish, that's so much optimism going into the next year. Um, I, it, I don't know. It's a, it's. I mean, I've been on my first year in the league. We went to the playoffs, and it was my first year. I didn't really know what to expect. And then we were bad for a long time where we didn't have a lot of expectations. Um, and this is something different now because we've been building, 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 and then now this year has been uh, a, a disappointment. Um, I guess the big thing is to, to try to take what happened this year for what it was. Um, there's some positives, obviously a lot of negatives, and just try to learn from it coming next year, knowing that I think everyone's confident when when we have our guys, we're gonna be we're gonna be right there. But it's like any other year to get over the hump, we have to get r really good at the little things and the habits, and and it's kind of what I say every year at this uh, at this media day when when um, we haven't won a championship is those are the small things, and that'll continue to be the the case next year. Um, I, I'm not tired about it, but it, there's, uh, I think every team is always trying to get better at those things. Uh, championships, it's hard to win a championship and only one team can do it every year. So every other team is talking about those little things to get over the hump. So, um, I'm not tired of talking about it and it's not like we deserve a championship and we haven't had one by now. So it's getting frustrating. I mean, it's tough to do. So, uh, we're excited to have an opportunity to go for it, just like all the other teams are. And and uh, we, we have an appreciation for how hard it is to do and uh, and how good you have to be to do it. And, and so that's the goal is try to get to that point. When you look at how good this team was offensively after the trade and project Kevin and Serge back into the lineup, looks like talent-wise you guys will be stacked next season and really deep. What will be the difference? I mean, you look at that team and it seems like it's constructed to contend for a title. What from day one do you feel like has to be in place in order to get to that point? Uh, I think what I was just saying about um, really focusing on where are we today? This in the eighth, in the fifteenth practice. Where is it a good practice? Are we doing what we're supposed to do uh, in, in a game in January? Are we just getting by on our talent? Or are we really uh, executing the way we want to execute? And that, again, that's been what we've been talking about. And I just. Um, we just have you just have to keep going at it and um and and uh i think we got guys that it's important to them and it's getting more and more important to them it's becoming the only thing that's really important about the season is is winning a championship and that's one good thing about having guys uh getting older getting further along in their career a lot of the other stuff becomes less important and it's more about winning and i think that's that's where we're at now